In a plot twist that's left economists scratching their heads, the U.S. housing market seems to be marching to its own beat, defying the ominous predictions of a crash. With news outlets gleefully proclaiming the end is nigh for the housing boom, the market has thrown a curveball, keeping prices soaring even as experts scramble to make sense of it all, buckle up, because the saga starts with a jaw-dropping statistic, the median sale price has rocketed up by a staggering 9.38% since January, rendering doomsayers momentarily speechless. It's as if the housing market is playing a game of chicken with the pessimists, showing them it's got more tricks up its sleeve, but wait, you exclaim. Aren't rising mortgage rates supposed to save the day for beleaguered buyers? Well, hold on tight, because this narrative takes an unexpected turn. Despite mortgage rates crawling upwards, prospective homeowners are left clutching their wallets in despair. Blame it on the sinister villain named Supply Shortage. According to Realtor.com's mind-bending analysis, the gap between single-family home construction and household formations has ballooned to a mind-boggling 6.5 million homes. It's a classic case of, if you build it, they will come, eventually, as the stage is set, enter the billionaire genius, Jeff Bezos. In a stroke of brilliance or luck, who can tell, Bezos threw his weight behind arrived homes. The startup out to democratize real estate investing. In a plot twist even Hollywood wouldn't see coming, arrived homes dared to sell shares of rental properties to the non-rich, turning everyday folks into property moguls. Bezos's timing couldn't have been better, with his investment yielding returns as explosive as a supernova. But wait, there's more. As home prices surged to unforeseen heights, the US homeownership rate plummeted to levels last seen when disco was king. We're talking 1970s levels. Soaring prices and higher mortgage rates have made owning a home a distant dream for many, with renting becoming the new norm. Is this the end of the American dream, or a new era of opportunity? Hold on to your hats, because the tale doesn't end here. JP Morgan Chase Company jumps into the narrative, unveiling plans to conquer the real estate world with a cool $1 billion investment in single-family rental communities. It's a game of high-stakes monopoly, with big players vying for dominance in the world of rental properties. In a shocking twist, the one silent MetLife investment management chimes in, revealing that institutional investors gobbled up a jaw-dropping 700,000 single-family rentals in 2022 alone. And brace yourself for this prophecy, they predict that by 2030, a whopping 7.6 million homes will be in the clutches of institutional landlords. Is this the rise of a new landlord aristocracy, or the dawn of a rental utopia? But hold your horses, because no good story is complete without a moral dilemma. Critics point fingers at investors like Bezos, accusing them of hogging the housing stock and deepening the crisis. On the flip side, supporters argue that platforms like Arrived Homes are the silver lining in this housing storm. Offering the only lifeline for regular folks to dip their toes into real estate, as the curtain falls on this dramatic act, the housing market keeps us on the edge of our seats, oscillating between wild optimism and nerve-wracking uncertainty. Will it crash and burn, or will the market continue to defy expectations, leaving us all guessing what comes next? One thing's for sure, this housing saga is far from over, and the only certainty is its tantalizing unpredictability. Thank you so much for watching please do consider us subscribing because we believe in truth.